Ever felt your heart race at the sound of your phone ringing or a text alert? You might be experiencing phone anxiety. This modern malady is increasingly prevalent among Gen Z and millennials. Take Kiki Nyo, for instance, a college junior from the Gen Z generation. She's found herself grappling with phone anxiety, a stress that arises from a relentless barrage of notifications and the constant social pressure that comes with it. For Kiki, her solution has been to use the Do Not Disturb feature on her phone and attempt to regain control and manage her stress levels. This constant connection, the incessant need to be available, and the fear of missing out, all contribute to what Dutch psychologist Thies Lonspach refers to as techno-stress. It's a stress induced by our digital devices, a consequence of our hyper-connected lives. So what do experts say about managing this modern malady? Let's delve into that next. Dutch psychologist Thies Lonspach has some insights to share on tackling phone anxiety. Are your palms sweaty at the mere sight of a blinking notification or an incoming call? You're not alone. In today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the constant barrage of alerts and messages. But don't worry, there are strategies to help you regain control. Lonspach suggests using the Do Not Disturb feature on your phone. This simple action can greatly reduce the stress caused by incessant notifications. It's like creating a personal bubble, a sanctuary where you can focus on your tasks or simply enjoy some peace without the constant interruptions. Remember, you have the power to control your technology, not the other way around. Being selective about your notifications is another effective strategy. Ask yourself, do you really need to be notified about every single like, share, or comment? Prioritize the alerts that truly matter and silence the rest. This way, you can minimize distractions and avoid the stress of a constant information overload. Setting boundaries with technology is crucial for maintaining your mental health. It's important to remember that your phone is a tool. It's there to serve you, to make your life easier, not more stressful. So, take charge. Decide when and how often you want to engage with your phone and stick to it. This could mean setting specific times for checking your emails or social media, or even turning off your phone during meals or before bedtime. These strategies may seem simple, but they can make a huge difference in managing your phone anxiety. It's all about taking back control and creating a healthier relationship with your technology. But what if the anxiety stems not from the alerts, but from the calls themselves? We turn to Mary Jane Copps for some advice. Mary Jane Copps, an expert on phone communication, has a simple but effective strategy, practice. Phone phobia, a term that might sound odd to some, is a real challenge faced by many, particularly among the younger generations. It's a fear that stems not from the device itself, but from the act of engaging in a phone conversation. In our increasingly digital world, where texting and social media reign supreme, many millennials and Gen Zers find themselves with a lack of exposure to traditional phone conversations. It's this unfamiliarity, this lack of practice, that often leads to a sense of unease and heightened anxiety when the phone rings. Cops' advice, though straightforward, is grounded in one of the fundamental principles of psychology, exposure therapy. The more we expose ourselves to the things we fear, the less power they hold over us. Cops suggests that by regularly practicing phone calls, we can begin to overcome our phone phobia. Take the example of journalist Saab O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, like many others, struggled with phone anxiety. However, through regular exposure and practice, she was able to overcome her fear. Her success story serves as a beacon of hope for those grappling with their own phone phobias. Remember, overcoming anxiety takes time and patience, but with these strategies, you're well on your way. Phone anxiety is real, but remember, you're not alone in this struggle. It's vital that we acknowledge and address these modern mental health challenges. By doing so, we can foster a culture of understanding and resilience. We must be proactive, equipping ourselves with the right tools and strategies to combat phone anxiety. Remember, it's okay to take a step back, to manage your notifications and to prioritize your mental well-being. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.